For those of you who haven't met me yet, my name is Katie and I am a certified online business manager and certified peak partner working at Peak Flow OBM, of which I happen to also be the founder owner OBM at. So welcome. Thank you. So we're so happy to have you here. Um, please, if this is your first time, say hi in the comments below. I want to be able to meet you and learn more about your business. What do you do and what do you need help with? Okay. So, um, February is, uh, the second month of the year. We were super stoked last month. We did all our goal planning stuff. Now, February, we've been trying to like get organized and also just cover some how to do stuff. Uh, so this session, like I said, is how to partner with other businesses in travel in the travel space in general. Um, so this one's kind of a short session, but I think it will be pretty good. Um, because this is a, a hot topic, um, and something that I've actually presented on before. Um, I'll drop a link to the Yuli webinar that I did where we talked about affiliate programs. So that is one of the ways that you can partner. And I'll be talking more about that here today. Um, but also, um, because this is a, a great way to, um, just, scale your your business okay i was listening to a live um chat today in a facebook group that i'm in for business owners and she was talking about you know your role as ceo and how the nicest way to plan your your year is in these like 90 day sprints so that's also what you know i was taught in my certification training and the practice that i am still learning to implement in my own business and for my clients' businesses. And she was talking a lot about how, you know, a priority doesn't always have to be like a project, a project that is like a tan, like a super tangible thing, like a software change, right? Maybe you want to set up keep, that would be a project. You would try to handle that in one quarter and be done with it. Okay. Um, but she was talking a lot about lead generation. And so I think that that, concept if we think about lead generation as being something that we always need in our business um this partnering with other business businesses is one of the strategies that could be a part of your lead generation machine in your business so um quick caveat lead generation definitely you know has to come second to uh, just your ability to convert sales. You should be converting sales really, really well before you ramp up your lead generation. Okay. And those sales conversions, you should also be able to be handling the throughput of these people in your business. Okay. Don't just jump to lead generation um, because you think it's the thing you need to be doing right now. Okay. If you're not closing sales, you're getting leads, but you're not closing sales. You need to refine that process. And if you have too many people already in the pipeline that you can't even service all your existing clients, right? There's no need to go and be focusing your time on lead generation. You should be spending your time on figuring out how to deliver your stuff in a more efficient manner. Okay. So, um, more to come on that. Maybe we'll have another, another discussion just about, um, priorities and like how to identify bottlenecks in your business and things like that. But, because we're talking about partnering with other businesses, this is related to um, often lead generation, but in the travel space, it can also be related to delivery, which is pretty cool. Um, so we have a sweet little slide here. So just a you know quick update, again, in case you haven't met us yet. Hi, we're the team at Peaklo OBM. Uh, we are Kate and Will. We are we are the full-time uh, business team here, and Jock and Charlotte are our super fabulous subcontractors, uh, currently kicking it in South Africa. Hopefully, we'll be on the move soon. Um, and we bring a specialized skill set of travel and tourism, all right, uh, with all the techie know-how bits to support your business. Um, so that is what we do and a little bit about how we do it. So. What is the impact that a partnership can have on your business? 
Okay. And that is a question that I have for you that I want you to think about and drop some comments uh, below for me with any answers that come up for you. What kind of impact can you see partnerships having on your business? Okay. Um, some of the quick, you know, wins can be that partnerships can support the growth of your business. And that is in regards to lead generation and revenue, potentially. Um, it can help you scale because maybe you're able to outsource um, some of the delivery, for example. Okay. Um, it can increase your network and your reach. So that of course, is always a nice thing to have happening in your business. So um, key partnerships can be uh, super valuable for um, getting you in front of another audience, okay, who maybe is very similar or has interests similar to what you're selling or doing, okay, and it gets you out in front of these other people who maybe haven't heard of you just yet. Um, this is a good affordable tactic. Okay. So, um, partnering with other businesses often is a very low cost thing to do. Okay. Um, unlike paid advertising, for example, if we think about this from a lead generation standpoint, lead generation in the traditional sense is paid ads, right? Trying to pay for articles, hosting travel writers, which can be very expensive. Uh, to come on your trips, uh, trying to hire photographers, videographers, all that kind of stuff, right? To create other types of content. Whereas a partnership can be very low cost up front and generate lots of revenue potentially in the back end. And I'm going to give you guys some examples as we go along. Um, but partnering can also mean that you don't have to do it all. Okay. And I'll give a really good example of this. Um, in regards to the scalability of a business and not having to do it all is Wild Women Expeditions, right? So that entire business model is built on business partnerships, right? That Wild Women Expeditions is really just the marketing machine, right? And, you know, Jen's got lead generation on lockdown, right? But they don't actually deliver, any of their trips anymore. Okay. They use on the ground local suppliers to deliver all of their programs, right? So that is how the business was able to scale up so quickly um, and be able to offer destinations around the world. And we're starting to see this model more and more. Of course, you know, we've, you've seen it with G Adventures and Intrepid for quite a long time. Um, but it is also more accessible now and more common for businesses to partner, right, with local suppliers um, to be able to deliver their programs on the ground, okay? So lots of good stuff there. So the first type of partnership that I want to talk about, because I think it's just freaking awesome, is affiliates, okay? Hopefully I spelled that right. I always get the A's and the I's all twisted around. So affiliate partnerships, okay, this is where other people help you sell your trips, okay? And those people earn a commission for the sale that they make, okay? So if you're on a platform like Yuli, for example, this is a built-in feature of that system, okay? So if you're creating your trips in Yuli, you really need to be taking advantage of that built-in functionality to expand your reach and create affiliates of your partners, Okay, so um, I'll give you an example for this one. So um, a client of, of ours, um, Arctic Dog Adventures, um, is using Yuli for her multi-day trips. And we put her affiliate program together earlier in the season, I would say probably around November month. And we've only invited like one or two affiliates. Okay, so I'm just, I want to give you this for context, right? It doesn't mean you have to have a zillion affiliate people we're talking like very core strategic people that you know, like, and trust, and you're sure that their audience is a good fit for your trips, okay? This, uh, so Arctic Dog is multi-day tours in Alaska, right? You're standing on the sled all day, you're working with the dogs, you have to bend over, you have to be out in the cold, 
Um, you're well dressed, of course, and all the gear is provided, but um, it's a fairly, you know, involved activity, right? So it's not just for 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 everybody, and it's not, you know, overly great for children, for example. Um, so Arctic Dog partnered with another business called the Mushing Co-op, and the Mushing Co-op does day tours, okay? And they do an awesome job at day tours, okay? But they don't do multi-day trips. But she gets inquiries all the time about, hey, I'd like to do a multi-day dog sledding thing, right? And so this is an example of a dream partnership of two businesses that are actually doing the same thing differently, okay? And now they can be supporting each other, right? So when Lisbeth gets requests for day tours, she sends those to the Mushing Co-op. And when the Mushing Co-op gets uh, requests for multi-day trips, they send their people to Lisbeth, okay? perfect relationship okay valentine's day was yesterday or the day before yeah these kinds of business partnerships love so good okay um and so what we did is we created a proper affiliate program annually right we gave the machine co-op links to every trip uh that we're selling and she was able to email her list put the links on her website all that kind of good stuff and the Mushing Co-op has probably filled, you know, 10% of the Arctic dog trips this year. Okay. So that is an example of a really balanced collaboration and, you know, just really how complimentary and like simple it can be to get your business in front of another audience, right. And then reward your affiliate um, accordingly so that it's worth their time to do some marketing to sell your stuff. So this one is super good. Uh, we use affiliates all the time, right? I'm an affiliate with Bluehost. I'm an affiliate with Keep. I'm an affiliate with Yuli. I'm an affiliate with all the tech softwares that we recommend because that means that I get commission if somebody, you know, signs up from my links. And that is an important area of revenue for our little tiny micro business, right? Um, you guys can be also affiliates for gear companies. So if you're always recommending gear, to somebody like go sign up, become an affiliate, generate some extra cash flow for your business as well. So it can work both ways. You can give and have your affiliates that sell your stuff, but you can also be an affiliate for other either tour providers or gear companies um, and earn the commission yourself to also help, you know, balance and pad that bottom line a little bit. Um, Partnership type number two, okay? This one is a super low cost um, type of partnership. It's also kind of a you know casual partnership. So this is backlinking or guest posting. So backlinking and guest posting is a way, again, to get yourself um, exposure in front of a new audience, okay? This would be like writing a blog post for um, another business's uh, website, for example, um, this might be reaching out to other businesses that um, either do something similar to you or like are really close, but like not quite. So an example is another one of our clients is Blue Jellyfish Sub Adventures, and she just does paddleboarding. OK, but she has a really good partnership with a kayak company. And um, so they refer all their paddleboarding lessons and everything over right, to Blue Jellyfish, and if she gets any inquiries about gear rentals or kayak stuff, right, she's referring back over there. Um, but backlinking is something that is happening here too because this company, the kayak company with the rentals, right, they've actually put Blue Jellyfish sup on their website to say, hey, if you want to do a sup lesson, we recommend you book with this company here, right? So that's a great way to, again, focus on what you do well, right, which is kayaking and rentals, but be able to offer more value to your audience in the form of stand-up paddleboard lessons, right? And provide exposure for, for Blue Jellyfish to a new audience, okay? They also get a backlink out of that. Um, and uh, and we, we even do some guest posting. So, you know, we've written some content for, you know, this kayak company to go out on their social media so that they can, you know, help promote some of our events and things um, in the area. So this is a very low cost, uh, way to partner. Okay. Uh, it can have a high time cost and that's because if you're going to write blog posts or like copy for people, um, you know, you get a budget like 
probably three or four hours to write a really good high quality SEO optimized blog post. So um, it can have a high time cost, but the opportunity to get backlinks uh, from partners is a pretty low cost. It's an email or a DM to say, hey, I'd really appreciate a backlink uh, on your site. And here's the kind of value that I can give to your audience, blah, 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 and see if you can get it. Okay. Type number three, we have the co-branded or joint venture partnership. So these are examples of collaborative trips often in this space. Uh, so I have a really good example to show you uh, once we're done our slideshow here today. Um, almost all of our clients kind of do this a little bit to some degree. This is um, a, a true partnership, right? So both parties bring expertise uh, to the trip or the program or whatever you're doing, the event, okay? And they also fully promote the event to both their channels because they're both running the event or the trip. We do see this a lot with events in particular. Um, so, you know, co-branded or joint ventures, you're seeing a lot of this with the ATTA and Flywire right now, okay? Right? Different businesses, similar audiences, co-branding events, co-branding reports, all this kind of stuff. Uh, we see this a lot with, you know, yoga teachers and travel companies, right? So you as the travel company, you have the local expertise, you know, the retreat center, you know, all the other activities in the area, but you need the yoga instructor to make it a yoga retreat. So you hire them and you co-brand the trip. Um, you know, you can see this a lot too, just with, um, you know, local companies that have been local for a really long time and they wanted to go kind of international. Um, so you'll see examples uh, like that. And then with, you know, special events, like two to three day workshops and retreats, right? Like everybody who's involved in that event or that workshop, right? Whether they're guiding or running a workshop session or, um, you know, the space that they're holding it, like, all of those people will partner together uh, under this joint venture event, right? And promote it to all of their different channels. So it's great exposure for everybody involved typically. All right. Uh, and the last example, oh, that was the last example, there we go. Um, so guys, if you are interested in any of these types of business partnerships, this Facebook group is a great place to get started. We have guides in this group, we have um, you know, the tr more travel designer, travel agent type companies here. We have on the ground tour operators. We have travel bloggers and media here as well. So feel free to start networking. Okay. This type, this group, this is one of those purposes, right? Is to network. If you have an idea or you're looking for people to partner with. So let's say you're looking for some affiliates post here and say, guys, I run this kind of business and I'm looking for affiliates to help fill up my trips or events for 2022. If anyone's interested, you know, please ideally create a form people can sign up, right? Uh, and take like an application, right? Fill up my application to become an affiliate. Um, it's a great way to expand your reach, like I said, and this group is one of those places where you can do that. So if you need help with that, ask for it right here in this group, okay? Not just of me and my team, but um, of this community. Okay. Um, if you need some ideas for backlinking or um, how to, you know, increase your SEO uh, and exposure that way, definitely feel free to drop questions and comments. We're happy to provide you guys with some resources around that. Okay. Um, and these are things that we can do for you. And ta -da -da! <laughs> there we go. So two things before we uh, wrap up here today. So I do want to um, do a quick pitch to you. So if you've had enough, thank you for being here. If you want to hear my pitch about our affiliate program template, stay tuned. So guys, this I created a couple months ago when we, I did my workshop with Yuli, which I will drop a link in the comments below about. And this is an affiliate template. So this is an, an SOP. Okay. And a like affiliate agreement guideline doc. Okay. So these are the two core pieces you need to set up your affiliate program fully and comprehensively. Okay. Um, so down here are the two docs. Okay. So this is your SOP on how to set up the entire affiliate program 
okay, from configuring this program guidelines and um, contract sort of thing, all the way to creating that you know agreement form and um, you know, marketing it, sharing it, and how to also add your affiliates to Yuli at the end. Okay, so it is designed to work on the Yuli platform, but sometimes other platforms have this as well. So if you are working on you know a bigger software like maybe ResD or I don't know, someone mentioned Eventbrite earlier today. So maybe it has that functionality too. I don't know. Um, but definitely, you know, it's also something you can also just install as a separate thing on your WordPress site. Uh, so there are, are uh, plugins that you can put on WordPress to sort of generate some of these UTMs and different things that are needed to create an affiliate program in your own business. Okay. So I would definitely recommend it. Guys, it's $30 Canadian. Okay. That is like an hour of your time, not even, that I am for sure going to save you like three hours. Okay. So uh, I think it's pretty, pretty worthwhile. Um, it's got everything you need and we'll just get you like, get this partnership. You, you can, you can download this, pay your $30 and have this whole affiliate agreement done. I, I, I promise you, you'll have it done in like one to two hours. Okay. If you're trying to do this on your own, it could take you like all day. So anyways. I'm a big fan. I wouldn't be selling to you if I didn't think it was awesome. And if you need help doing it, let me know because I'm always happy to help and answer questions and make sure you guys have what you need. Um, and then I want to give you a cool example of a co-branded trip um, that one of our former clients is doing. So this is Finisterra Travel and they have a really great relationship with surf sisters based out of tofino british columbia so this is like i was saying about you know a very local operator who kind of wants to go global right so surf sisters operated tofino canada for years and years and uh i guess the relationship was very organic because uh carrie is one of the finisterra founders and it's her sister who runs surf sisters um and so it's a very natural you know joint venture event collaboration. Okay. And so this is an example of, um, you know, how, how both companies can come to the table. Okay. And so, uh, you surf sisters brings the surfing expertise, right. And the instructors and all that kind of stuff. And Finisterra brings the, um, international contacts, uh, together so that they can run trips in El Salvador, Panama, also Canada, and I think there, there's some going to be some expansion in the coming uh, coming couple of years. But um, this is, you know, a really good example of what a cross collaboration can kind of look like. OK. And a co-branded event. So, yes, it's here on the on the Finisterra site. But right. Surf Sisters is getting a backlink, which is awesome. Right. Their instructors are getting additional work and the opportunity to travel. Um, if they go down into the Yuli page, which is behind this book now button, um, you will see that there is a nice feature there. All right, let's just go look at it of, you know, working with surf sisters. Um, and so they get the full thing. So I'll have to check on that and let them know. That's because that trip is over. There we go. That's what happened. 2022. All right. So on the Yuli page, we put a highlight and we say, this is the surf sisters um, company and we like, you know, you feature them really prominently. So um, just a really good example of how that kind of works uh, in real time because it is just such a nice way to, yeah, um, promote other businesses, promote yourselves um, and really just, you know, kind of operate on the mentality of um the tide lifts all boats, right? So as travel restrictions are beginning to lift, ee, it's happening here in Canada. It's very exciting. Um, I think that there's, you know, there is going to be um, a lot of excitement around that this year and people are, are very much looking to get out and about and do things again. So um, maybe now is the time to start forming some partnerships start talking about cross promoting each other's stuff, talk about backlinking, talking about, you know, creating some of co-hosted events for 2022, 2023, um, so that you guys can, yeah, just really scale things up 
and use partnering as one of the methods to, um, to do that. Awesome. If you have any questions about today's session, please drop it in the comments below. Me and my team will get back to you. And I think that is all for today. Thank you so much to those of you who were here tuning in live. I really appreciate you making the time to join me here today. And for those of you who are watching the replay, I also really appreciate you taking the time to do that. And I would love to hear your thoughts on this session in the comments, um, just to let me know that you were here and if you thought this session was helpful or not. And yeah, you will be seeing these videos now over on YouTube uh, the following week after they are live here. So if you can't catch the replay here on Facebook, um, you can also head over to our YouTube channel and that should just be Peak Flow OBM on YouTube and, uh, and you'll see the videos over there shortly. Okay, thanks so much everybody. Have a good rest of your week. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.